Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do curved text in Microsoft Word for Cricut Design Space. And you can use Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Publisher, any program that has the WordArt function in it. And the prerequisite for this is that you're going to need to install PDF Creator, which is a virtual printer, and that's available from pdfforge.org. I'll have the link down in the description. And that's a one-time installation. It's easy to do. You can find the instructions on the site. And once you have that, it'll open up a whole new world of SVGs to you. So you're going to want to do that anyway. Microsoft Word Art has been around for decades, and it's just a great program for curving text. It does a much smoother job than Inkscape, and certainly better than positioning the letters yourself, because it can actually curve the lines of the text instead of just moving the the block letters along a line. So you're going to get a much better result using Microsoft Word and it really is easy to just save it as an SVG. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to open a new Word document. And then we're going to go to insert Word art. Now they tend to move these things around from version to version so you may have to Google how to do this specifically in yours. There's not a plain one so the next thing I'm going to do is go to home and click this little eraser here to clear the formatting so I can just start without all the shadows and, and, and all that, the bevels, because that's not going to help me for a cut file. So I'm going to pick a nice bold font just for demonstration purposes. You can use whatever font you want. And I'm going to make it pretty large. At this point, I've found all the things I need for Word Art, so I'm going to save this document as a template. If I were doing this in real life, I would save this as a template. So now, whenever I want to do Word Art, I would just open up my Word Art template and I would start from here and I wouldn't have to hunt down all those commands again. So at this point, you can type in your own text, and I would encourage you to use either a unicase font or to use uh, all caps. Oh, my cap clock's already on, so. Because when you do that, you get a better word art if you have a, a solid line on the top and the bottom. So either use all caps or a unicase font, something like Pharmacy or Cafe Rojo, gives you a nice look. So that's why I'm going to use all caps here. So once I've got that, then I can go back to Format, and I'm going to look for this fuzzy A button, and go all the way down, and I've got a Transform, and this is where I find all my shapes. And I'm going to move this up so you can see all of them. And as I go over those, you can see that it live updates, so you can pick the one that you want, pick whatever shape looks best for your design, or if Lots of times you have one in mind that you want to do a pennant or a waving flag or you want to curve over a, over a shape. So I'm going to use this one called Deflate Bottom. And then in WordArt you have a number of controls. You have these pink diamonds depending on what shape you, you picked that will give you the, the arc. If I move this up and down it will change the arc under here and then if I move the uh, this I change the overall proportions so I can change the dimensions side to side within the font shape and then I can change this and if you use other ones you may have more than one handle and you'll be able to get the one that you want to get the shape just like you want it so play around with that for the shapes that you chose and get it just like just how you want it. There's some that let you do multi lines. There's lots of flexibility. You can do text around a circle, all kinds of shapes. Just play with it. You'll have a good time. When you get it like you want it, then all we're going to do is we're going to go to File Print. Okay, we're not printing. We're going to use a virtual printer. So. I'm going to select PDF Creator from my printer list that I, again that I installed earlier and I'm going to click click print. Now this is a virtual printer so it's not printing but it's going to save a file. So I'm going to make sure that this after saving open output fi file box is unchecked because I just don't want to mess with that and I'm going to click save 
and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Football Curve. I'm going to save it to my Dropbox. And the most important thing here is I'm going to, under Save Files as Type, I'm going to go down to the bottom one, which is SVG, and I'm going to click Save. So instead of printing this file, it's going to save it as an SVG. So now I can go into Design Space, click on Upload Image, go to Vector Upload because my file is an SVG, click on Browse, and I can go down here to Football Curve, and there it is. And I can click on Save Image, and I can add that to my mat, and there I've got the nice SVG that I can can adjust and include in my design and it cuts perfectly. It's a better quality than if I had traced because I'm going vector to vector. I'm getting all the quality that's available to me straight from the Microsoft Word art right to an SVG and into Cricut Design Space. So this is an easy technique. It's quick. It is the highest quality you can get and I highly recommend that you install PDF Creator so you can start taking advantage of your Microsoft Word art and so many other things that you can print to SVG to use in Cricut Design Space. So I hope you find this helpful and enjoy using PDF Creator to print to SVG. Thanks for watching.